Hey everyone, and welcome to Food Stories. I'm your host, Larry Fenelier. Today we have a special bilingual show, and we have Latinas and Latinos in the house, <laughs> and we have an international crew. As you guys know, I'm in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, let me introduce the rest of the folks. Oh, by the way, Maggie and Zueta is the one who's going to be doing the cooking. All right, so and she'll be doing some uh, chimach steak, chimichurri. Quesadillas. Quesadillas, right, good. Well, yeah. we, we will get to Maggie in a few minutes, mm -hmm. but let me introduce to the international crew that we have here. Starting on my left, which would be you guys' right, we have blogger extraordinaire from the Latino community. Her name is Adriana Martin, and she hails from Orlando, Florida. Hi, Adriana. Welcome. Hi, Larry. Happy to be here. Hi, everybody. Hola. Hola, Hi. hola. Como estas? Hola. Hola. Viva los Latinos. <laughs> okay, good to have you, Adriana. Next to Adriana, we have the lady who just completed her great um, show, her, her premiere on Foodies Plus community. Miss Aslin Blow, Blow, Aslin Blow, shaken, not stirred, and she hails from the UK. <laughs> Hi, hola, Aslin. hola, cómo estás? Cómo estás? Cómo estás? And, th and that's as far as my Spanish goes. Um, <laughs> I'm so pleased to be here. <laughs> okay, good. And thank you, Aslin. Next to Aslin, we have George and Marilyn, George Cohen and Marilyn Ritter, and they hail from Mountain View, California, Google Land. Hey guys. Saludos, amigos. Oh, hold on. <laughs> George, you're now Jorge. We're calling yeah. you Jorge. You lost Jorge. <laughs> Just lost Jorge. <away. laughs> okay. while, while he is getting situated, uh, I will skip over Maggie and we'll go to Paulino. Paulino is in Argentina. How are you doing, my friend? Paulino Brina. Hola, Laurie. I am not in Argentina. Hey, hey. I am from Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> but I am in the Minnesota. <laughs> to the magic, to the magic, uh, yeah, well, magic we, of hangouts. I could be anywhere in the world, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Damn, the secret's out. Larry, yeah. quiero, quiero decirle a todos los que están mirando que pueden hacer preguntas en inglés o en español, este es un show verdaderamente bilingüe. Gracias. Sí, por favor. Gracias. And whatever you said, yes, on it, great. Anyway, <laughs> it's not, it's not Paulino will be assisting me today. He will be uh, translating uh, some of the questions into Spanish uh, or, or from English into Spanish or, and vice versa. So, Paulino, thanks for coming and joining us in the Hangout. Next to Paulino, we have Richard Wooding, my good friend and buddy, all the way from South Africa. Hi, Rich. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. You're sorry. I'm doing fine. We, we're going to learn some Spanish today, pal. Yes, yes. You speak a little bit. Next to Richard. I'm used to, yeah. <laughs> next to Richard, we have Shadia Janssen. Everybody knows her. She's from Curacao. She also speaks a little Spanish. Uh, That's awesome. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm really George is dropping in and out. George, oh hey, I'm here. Hola, hola. Oh, you got the record. Yeah, all right. This is this is going to be a party, guys. Look, um, I, I would like to know what everybody is drinking be, before we get to Maggie. Adriana, what do you have? You have water. You well, have... today we're having a margarita. All with, right. uh, with a fresh strawberry, organic strawberry, so it's very delicious. So cheers, everybody. Nice, nice. <laughs> Aslan, Miss Blore. A Chateauneuf de Pop, French Ooh. wine. It's, George and Marilyn? <laughs> um, sadly, black tea. Tea. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. It's early here. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh. 
Well, I, I, kids, don't try this at, at home. And people have been saying I've been having a potty mouth lately. And Larry, and I know you guys are looking for sponsors, so I'm sipping on a little Comet toilet, toilet bowl thing. <laughs> 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 oh, so funny. Oh, uh, Paulino, what? Can you stop that, sir? Yo estoy bebiendo pura y sana agua. Richard, what do you have there, sir? I'm having some uh, South African wine. White mischief, this one's called. Okay, birthday lust. Birthday lust. Birthday lust. And uh, I have water, but it finished. It's so Alcohol. hot here. <laughs> okay, I'm drinking a little Sabisa. Cheers. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm right. the first time I've ever seen you drink cerveza. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Without much further ado, Maggie, we're going to get to you right now, my darling. So, well, I'm drinking, hold on, let me go here. Raimi, another Raimi. This is uh, a Syrah by Raimi. I love Raimi. Uh, vino? Vino Rojo, uh, it goes so well with um, Carne Roja. So, okay, <laughs> so let's take it away. And this is this is how you cook. You cook with wine and food. You gotta hydrate, you gotta hydrate. I have these cakes that I have already cooked. Can you guys see that? And this is just uh, a ribeye steak. No tiene um, hueso, it's completely boneless. And it's just resting here. Um, so I'm going to put it back here, and we're making a chimichurri sauce. Um, tell us a little, bit, uh, a little bit about chimichurri sauce in Argentina, if you could, um, Paulino, while I'm doing this. Paulino's, oh, okay. <laughs> bueno, soy de Argentina, pero debo confesar que no me gusta mucho el chimichurri. Lo siento mucho, pero el chimichurri es, <laughs> pero el chimichurri es una especialidad. <laughs> Lo siento. El chimichurri es una, una salsa muy, muy usada en Argentina uh, que va acompañando la carne, porque por supuesto en Argentina comemos mucha carne, sobre todo cuando la hacemos a la parrilla. So, chimichurri es una is a sauce that combines a lot of herbs and different condiments that we use a lot in Argentina for our meat, especially when we grill the meat. And we, of course, love grilled meat. Y esto lo que estoy diciendo aquí, esto es uh, parsley, uh, perejil, and I'm, es, es mucha, obvio. So I'm just chopping away here, okay? But, 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 um, okay, never mind, I'll let, um, well, what are you putting in the, in the chimichurri sauce, Maggie? So right now, like I said, this is going to be, this is parsley. And this is a lot of parsley, so this is a lot of chopping here, and I'm going to make it into a little salsa, a little okay. salsa sauce in here, and then I'm going to grind everything. So, oh, Paulino, Paulino, start with parsley. Paulino, can you hear me? Sí, Ashley. I, I um, tra traditionally, yeah, there, there are, there are, I understand that there are two, two um, opinions on the chimichurri sauce. Some people insist that you need cilantro or coriander in it. But some Argentinians, traditional Argentinians, insist that because cilantro isn't isn't a uh, 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 natural herb in Argentina, that it's only made with parsley. What what do you think? Um, well, I'm not a actually foodie. <laughs> I'm I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> would you say? Would you say? Can you? Why 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 are you here? But <laughs> honest. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, I am a okay, great, now I great. understand why he's drinking water. <laughs> I'm a great <laughs> time teacher, okay? Back to can, can, you, can, you tell, can you tell can you tell the difference? Can you tell the difference between Ashley, the taste yes, of cilantro? Definitely. I can tell you this. My my parents, my mother and my father, always made chimichurri with uh, perejil, with cilantro, yes. With yeah, I just put maybe about, um, I don't know, half a cup or so, como media, media taza aquí, de perejil, so it's all nice and chopped up. And now what I'm starting with is yerba buena, just mint. Um, I don't know. What do you think, uh, probably, you know, you're our Argentinian friend here. Um, uh, we you made, know, we, we know, know, you know, 
I, 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 I need to tell it's you that there is a lot of diversity. <laughs> there is a lot of diversity in taste in Argentina, and yeah. but I have never heard of mint in chimichurri. No, no, I, I personally don't think I like it. I like it. In, in fact, a mí me gusta el cilantro. I like the cilantro in chimichurri, but um, también de nuevo, for me, the people who I've talked to, they sort of like los argentinos, they don't like it. You know, la mint. Quién sabe, quién sabe qué. Maggie, Maggie, you have a couple of questions. Oh. Okay, we have uh, Kim. We just, yeah, Kim Boltman. She says, um, "Oh, such fun seeing cultures and languages blending. Add a flavorful dish in the making. Add a flavorful dish in the making." Uh, thank you, thank you, Kim. Uh, next, we have Becky Scott. Becky says, "Is, Becky. That, the, is that the flat leaf parsley?" Italian, Maggie? It's it's flat leaf. It's okay. flat leaf. It's not the curly kind. Okay, fine. Yeah, this is and this is mint. So, um, so you know, I'm going to something mucha because it's it's very it's very potent in here. So I'm just using a little bit. Um, so I'm the parsley just talk to talk to us more. So Maggie, Maggie, te voy a preguntar un poco de dónde viene. Eres mexicana en México. Se utiliza mucho o se hace mucho el chimichurri. O es una mezcla de cultura que estás haciendo. Para, para nada, no se usa nada. Bueno, la verdad es que, bueno, también como en México no se usa la, el chimichurri. Sí usamos muchas salsas. Y tengo una amiga argentina que, que una vez me dijo, la comida mexicana es muy aguada. <risa> Ay, bueno, a, ver, a ver qué tal salió ese argentino. Yo soy todo argentino. Pero bueno, ya me imagino aquí los comentarios, ¿verdad? Pero... Uh, no, it, it is. La comida mexicana, it's very, it's wet. It's very, um, it's very sloppy for the most part because we use so many salsas. But the mm. chimichurri, not really. Um, y creo que es una mezcla. Y lo que estoy haciendo aquí es una mezcla. Es una mezcla de, de las, las culturas diferentes aquí que, que encontramos en los Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Mm. Es un poquito de mexicano, un poquito de, de Argentina, de los Estados Unidos, porque aquí en los Estados Unidos también tenemos muchos... Um, very creative dishes in the U.S., you know? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, chimichurri. You know what would be great in here? Adriana, uh, jalapeño. <laughs> bueno, uh, yo de hecho al chimichurri eh, le pongo eh, pimienta roja eh, en hojuelas y mm -hmm. también le, le pongo ajo y le pongo albahaca fresca, además de el perejil. Y le da un sabor muy, muy rico. Ahora, nunca lo, lo he hecho con menta. Eh, eso sería más bien como una influencia mediterránea, pero me imagino que va a estar muy bueno también. ¿Y, y saben por qué, por qué este, puse aquí la hierba buena? Porque aquí, lo, aquí en la casa... <laughs> here, <laughs> and go, oh, this looks great. Let's put this together. You know, you know how that goes. You know, it's like, what are, what are, what are the uh, la influencia, ¿verdad? It's like, what you, what, what's around, you know? Let's cook with this. Oh, this smells great, you know? Mm -hmm. Max, Max, we have a question again from Kim. Kim yes. Boltman. Yes, she Kim. Says, is chimichurri primarily a green sauce? Yeah, yeah, it's green. It's mainly green. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it any other color. But uh, can, 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 you, can you put some tomatoes and make it red? No. Then you go back tomatoes. to the wet Mexican dish. <laughs> I just want George, to know if you George, use you tomatoes instead of tomatoes. That's uh, yeah. be a pico de gallo instead, not a chimichurri. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can make a, a salsa chim. You can make a salsa chim. A chim salsa. Oh, right? chimi right. salsa. That's chimi a chimi salsa. Chimi salsa. Yeah. And happy here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, George, bring up, bring up the maracas. Bring up the maracas. <laughs> Very well. Very good. All right. So I've got all my herbs here. They're good to go, but I'm trying to open this thing. Hold on, give me a sec. Uh, Paulino, there is um, Carmen Man Mandich. Ask sí. something in, Carmen yeah. Mandis dice, a mí me encanta comer. ¿Se comparte la comida con todos al final del programa? Yo me apunto. <laughs> she's, me, she's, she's very hungry. Oh, she's very, uh, she's very hungry. She likes to eat. Uh -huh. So no, I will share sorry, the food boy. at the end of the program. Ahora, una cosa que el chimichurri, a mí me encanta. 
Ajo. Mucho, mucho, mucho ajo. I mean, that, that is one thing, right, that you do remember? <laughs> yes, I do remember a lot of ajo and garlic, yes. Yeah, so we mean four cloves. I mean, unfortunately, uh, Maggie is the, uh, going to be the only one who's going to be eating. We will not be sharing in her delightful dish, unfortunately. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't share. <laughs> <laughs> That's for my six-year-old. My six-year-old's like, uh-uh, uh, this is mine. <laughs> uh, thank you. Paulina, thanks, buddy. You're doing a fabulous job. Oh, gracias, gracias. If, even if you're not a foodie, foodie, foodie. <laughs> you, missed the, you missed the comment, though, Paulino. Uh, Pope Francis from Argentina says he wants to come into the hangout, but somebody's got him blocked. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's that? No, it's, it's full. The hangout is full. The hangout is full. Oh, okay, okay. He was joking. <laughs> George, George. <laughs> George never jokes. <laughs> Back. Uh, now, we, we do Becky. have a comment from Becky. Yeah. He does love a new, um, that you're putting a new spin on the dish with the mint. So she, she apparently likes this mixture of cultures. I love mint. Yeah, it is medio mediterraneo, but it's, I mean, I just like the flavor of it. You know, cilantro, I don't even know what I used when I, I put uh, the recipe that's on the blog. No me recuerdo si puse cilantro y buena. It's like it just for me. It's like whatever you like. If you don't like mint, don't use mint. You know, that's my take on it. Right? But hey, thank you. <laughs> uh, Pauline is using the um, the comment tracker. Great, great job, Paulina. Todo lo mejor para ti, Larry. Whatever you said, that sounded great. <laughs> That is, the extent, that is the extent of my Spanish, folks. Yo, yo quiero tacos. Yo quiero tacos. I was, I was told to say that by um, Adriana. <laughs> but at least you know a line. <laughs> uh, my Spanish is lacking. Um, the reason well, why... Well, let, 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 me, let me just say this. Uh, this bilingual show was inspired by... Jorge Sepich. Pepicho. Yeah, Pepicho. He, he, he talked to Maggie and I after a hangout uh, a couple of weeks ago and said, you know what, you guys should do a bilingual show. And it sounded good at the time, and it was good, and it's a great idea, George. I thank you. And we are doing this for basically the main reason to get foodies who are of the Spanish-speaking community to come on and do hangouts. Don't worry about, you know, talking in Spanish. If your English is broken, it doesn't matter. Just, just come on and do it. Just your your native tongue is Spanish. Do the hangout in Spanish, but put post the event. I will reshare it. I will support, and everybody here in the hangout will support. So, uh, my challenge to you, foodies of the Spanish-speaking, the Latino community, I want you guys to do some hangouts. <laughs> so, okay, Larry, I'll, I'll, I'll have to say this in Spanish. Two hangouts, cooking hangouts, cooking hangouts. I'll probably out. have to say this in Spanish. So, Larry y nosotros <laughs> les invitamos a todos los amantes de la comida a hacer sus hangouts en español, español inglés, Spanglish, en English, Smish, lo que sea, una mezcla. <laughs> Pero si no se animan a hacerlo en inglés, a hacerlo en español, Larry va a compartir sus hangouts. Están todos invitados a hacer sus hangouts. A ver, Paulina, well said. Well said. Tengo una pregunta. Estoy usando limón y usualmente eh, es vinagre, ¿no? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es tu opinión? A ver. ¿Qué tal mi chimichurri? <risa> a mí me gusta ponerle limón. Yo creo que le da un sabor muy fresco a, al chimichurri. Ya, yeah, prefiero limón. Prefiero limón que el vinagre. Pero, ¿Por qué?
poquito de pimiento también. I am almost, I am just about done here with this chimichurri sauce. ¿Lo pueden ver? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, just make sure you're back there. Larry, you brought that right when they were talking about the extra virgin. Yeah. <laughs> you missed, you missed the extra virgin, Larry. I, I lost connection, guys. I just jumped out of the hangout and back in again. Went for a quickie, did we? <laughs> it, was, it was the lower third that was causing my problems, by the way. <laughs> uh, I... I, I, I well, I could apologize, but it's really not my um, not my fault. But anyway, um, it's good to be back. <laughs> Kim, Kim, Kim says, Kim says, I, I printed off the recipe, Maggie. We'll be serving it to our family visiting this weekend. Awesome, awesome. And using all four cloves of garlic. Love it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is a chimichurri sauce ready. And you can see it. Tiene mucho ajo, has a lot of garlic, and you can, I mean, yeah, don't kiss anyone after this. <laughs> wow, I, I can almost smell it here in Orlando. Well, unless, you're both, unless you're both eating it, right, Maggie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, Larry, 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 Larry make, make, sure, make sure your extra virgin has the garlic if you're going to have some, too. <laughs> that, that we're, we're getting some comments from some vampires that want to know if you can do this garlic free or not. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. What? Yeah, we're getting some comments from some vampires that want to know if you can do this garlic free. It's no possible. Sam uh, Sam Chow says, "I love mint. It's refreshing." I think that was gone. Uh, Becky Becky Scott, sorry about that. I'm back, and you shouldn't get that. We'll be right back. Message anymore. Thanks. Thanks for viewing. Uh, Carmen says, neither Spanish or English is my native language. Uh, pero buenas as internacional. Pero la comida buena es internacional. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Good food is international. It doesn't matter the language. That's right. Okay, so, so I cut up a couple of thin strips there, and if you notice, I like it a little, a little pink in the center. I actually like it really rare. But that's just me. I don't. I don't know what everybody, everybody's take is on that. No, no. I like. I like uh, rare as well. Yeah, I think most people who love their meat love it rare. Yes. I've met some people who don't like it like really well cooked. It's like what's wrong with you, you know. But uh, but hey, uh, it's whatever you like, you know. Um, Maggie, I have a question from Tammy Henry. Are you using lemon, Maggie? I have. I have used lime juice in mine. Is oh, the lemon more? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would use lime. Okay. Okay. And then Annabelle Howard said, uh, this is this is muy wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is wonderful to see that we all gather, you know, around, no matter where you are, but food is the common denominator, and, you know, that, that's just amazing, you know, good food, a, a nice drink, and great friends. That's the way that I'm feeling yeah. right now. Well well said, Adrian. And everybody's gathering around Maggie's kitchen. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> I, I, can, I can even feel like I'm almost there. Yeah. Yo quiero estar ahí, Maggie. Mándame una quesadilla, por favor. <laughs> I, I, easy on the margarita, Adriana. I, I, I can hear the margarita working, Adriana. Oh my goodness, salud. <laughs> Deliciosa. Oh, next time you're on, let me know because I love margarita too. Hey, you, you, you know what we forgot to, to do, Maggie? Uh, do a hashtag. Uh, Joanne Woolley says, uh, Larry's there, hashtag we should be using to share oh, on Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter. I forgot about that, Joanne. Oh, my bad, my bad. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just mixing a little bit of chimichurri con la carne. Ya está cocida. And voy a poner la tortilla. Ya está caliente aquí el sartén. Ah, primero con el queso. Y eso es queso, este, what type of cheese is this? This is just shredded jack. It's nothing, nothing crazy. All right, so. Cheese, queso, tortilla, y ahora la carne. 
Ay, qué rico, eso me recuerda a las taquerías en México, ¿te acuerdas ahí en México hacen una quesadilla que le ponen carne al pastor, queso manchego y un poquito de eh, piña y se les llama la gringa? La gringa, la gringa. Quesadilla la gringa. Oh, dear. Oh, well, somebody said, well said, Adriana. <laughs> That's what she Joan, Joan, well, you said well said, Adriana. Thank you, thank you, Joan. We will have to name this quesadilla that uh, my friend uh, Maggie is putting together. You know, maybe it could be like something around, you know, Maggie's cha cha quesadilla or something like that. <laughs> George, George, bring out the maracas. That's a maraca um, thing there, buddy. <laughs> Maggie, yes. uh, para un, uno que no cocina bien como yo, <ríe> ¿me podrías contar un poco más cómo preparaste la carne? Ah, la carne, bien fácil, ¿eh? Sal, pimienta, <ríe> tres minutos cada lado, así cocidos y ya. That's it, simple. It was very simple. Y Just a couple of minutes. Salt and pepper, each side, a couple of minutes, that was it. That's all I did with this meat. Um, how this came out? How this recipe first started is I had a, it wasn't even a steak, it was a leftover pot roast or something like that. And um, I thought, oh, what am I going to do? And I was like, ah, chimichurri sauce, <laughs> meat, chimichurri, let's have chimichurri. All right, now this is just me, I'm going to eat this, sorry guys, I'm really hungry. Um, so, what, what um, Paulino, tell us, tell us something about, um, let me see, with la, co with la coche, por qué se días? What? The oh, with la coche is a wonderful thing. <laughs> okay, okay, Adriana, then you maybe tell yes, us because I have it. no idea what it is. Well, with la, coche, with la coche is a mushroom that grows in a special type of corn uh, in Mexico. That corn is called cacahuacintle. And this is uh, a mushroom that was eaten by Asian Aztecs. It was only eaten by, the, you know, the king and it was just an amazing uh, dish and actually it's very earthy and goes wonderful with quesadillas and uh, it also with epazote which is a very indigenous you know uh -huh. leaf from uh -huh. Mexico yeah. mm -hmm. and the flavor is just you know it is indescribable you, you you have to taste it you have to leave it to really understand what we la coche is all about. <laughs> it's very intense. Have you had yeah. it? Maggie? Have you had it? Yeah, yes. oh yeah, it's very nice. Do you like it? Do you like it? I um, love it. Actually, I do um, a wonderful sauce with, with la coche and creme fraiche. Yeah. And okay. then I put it on top of a spaghetti. Oh my goodness, heaven on earth. Really? Wow. Yes, yes. there's yeah. a lot of different applications that could be gourmet applications, but you know, in Mexico it is eaten in quesadillas, but also yeah. you know has different applications. Okay, cool. Now, would this would this be a bad idea? What if you did another hangout, a whole different show called Maggie's Magic Mushroom? Is that? Is that <laughs> <laughs> no, <Ma> <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a guest on that one too. <laughs> Uh, Shay, Shay dear, do you guys do you guys get much Mexican food where you are? Nothing Mexican. We're no. very we're very um, Venezuelan and Colum Colombian, but more Venezuelan. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, same here in Trinidad. Uh, we, we are only a few miles off the coast of Venezuela. Yeah, so yeah. We, yeah. We have a lot of Venezuelan um, dishes and, and arepas, and arepas, and, and um, arepas. pastels, and you know. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Can you have you got have you got a particular Venezuelan dish you like, Shadia, that you can think of? Arepas. Arepas. That's my favorite. And what 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 is it? Arepas. It's a cornmeal. Um, it's with white. Yeah, cornmeal, and you mix it with water, and some people put other things in it, but you can deep fry it or you can pick okay. it on on the griddle. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I did a show on it. Okay, it looks like I, um, I, I, I burned to the bowl and it all poured on the stove. Oh, Ma that's Maggie, the one. Maggie, Maggie, yeah, Maggie, Maggie, did it all right. Maggie, oh. Ma Maggie, <laughs> we, we, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't tell us yeah. your plating. I was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't show. You didn't show us. 
you did you didn't fry the quesadillas though. You just filled it. Filled it. You know, and that's it. I don't. You know what's funny is is that I never saw a fried quesadilla until like I was in New York sometime. This mm. is how this is how my mom made it. I see. I see. We never you never deep fried it or anything like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. People mm. do that. Back yeah. Back. Back. Yeah, Becky, yeah. Uh, Becky Scott says, I had an awesome chimichurri a week or so ago with quinoa crusted avocados. It was so good, Maggie. I need you to recreate it. That's for another time, another show. Thank you, Becky. Es que si se, you can taste the yerba buena, the, the mint. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, y el ajo. Oh, yeah, I can't kiss anyone tonight. My son's going to be like, Mommy? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, what, what, one, one. One question I wanted to ask is, um, I'm sure lots of people will think about this when the show's over, how long do you keep the chimichurri sauce for? Good question. Very good question. No duda. <laughs> when, 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 you, when you finished eating, Maggie? Um, la verdad, I, truthfully, I don't know. Um, I, no duda. I never doesn't last more than like two days. In my house. <laughs> I, I think, I think, maybe up to a week. Because I think, it's Paul, yeah, Paulino, correct me if I'm wrong. In Argentina, when you go to little cafes and restaurants, you have the chimichurri sauce in um, little metal containers on the table, yeah? Yeah, that's correct. And it just stays there, correct? And it turns a brown color after a while, and they just top it up and stuff. Is that right? Yeah, but those, a lot of those things are made in the day. You know, they're... It depends on what you're adding to it. Uh, now, now, I'm a, now I'm an expert on chimichurri, but... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he's not a foodie! He's an imposter! He came in here under the guise of a foodie! <laughs> <laughs> now, in, in this show, I became a foodie now. I'm a Spanish yeah. teacher. <laughs> foodie. <laughs> but uh, most of the people prefer to do it on, on the day, you know, to have the fresh ingredients and, um, yeah, just right when you're going to, to use it on the grill. Yeah. yeah, like in, yeah. in Mexico, we, you know, we we make salsa that day. You know, it's like we yeah. canned salsa or some of this ball. I we never use that. It was like that day we're making salsa. You know, it's like blenders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, we have like this obsession with our blenders. It's like oh, make salsa. <laughs> yeah. I I find I find chimichurri actually also improves with age. Um, though it's nice, it's nice when it's fresh. But if you keep it in the fridge, um, it lasts and it actually improves. The tastes get deeper, it gets brown a little bit. So it goes down some levels. Yeah. You know, just okay. can I just say this, this is this this has been a this has been a very interesting show here. Um, we got a lot of great comments. I would like to thank okay. Kim, Carmen, Becky, uh, Sam, Sancho. Uh, who else? Who else? There, were, there were a lot of people interacting, and and of Kim. course the folks, the folks here in the hangout: Aslin, Adriana, George, Marilyn, Jorge, Maggie, Paulino, who did a fabulous job, pal. Thank you for um for helping out. And I hear a puppy. Yeah, that's, that's Bella. That's Bella, my puppy. She Bella, wants some yeah. of that quesadilla, yeah. Maggie. Yeah, Bella, Bella wants some food. Actually, you know, here Tatiana is also waiting for a bite, you know? <laughs> Aww. It's like a there. Oh, oh you, know, you, you know what? I, I, I forgot again. I almost forgot to give a shout out to the sponsors. <laughs> Uh, um, food, remember, guys. Food stories is brought to you in part by Two Degrees Food. Please buy a bar. Buy a bar, feed a hungry child. Visit www.twodegreesfood.com and use the promo code Food Stories 15 and get 15% off your purchase. It comes in some great, delicious flavors. Uh, George and Marilyn, I'm sure you guys can attest to that. Absolutely, yeah. it is one. It, right they here. are fabulous. Yeah, there you go. Let me see. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I unfortunately I don't have a bar to show you, but I can tell you in Spanish que cuentos de nuestra comida fue traído usted por parte de Two Degrees Food. Y cuando compra una barra, Larry, can you show your bar because I don't have one? 
Ajá, muy bien, gracias. Cuando compra una barra, está alimentando a un niño hambriento. Por favor, visite www.2degreesfood.com y utilice el código de promoción FOODSTORIES1515 para tener un 15% de descuento con su compra. Fabulous. Thank you, thank you, Paulino. Well done, well done. And that link is up on the event um, page. So, um, again, it, Maggie, final words from you, my dear. Five words? Final um, words, final words. Final. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not five, final. Final, final, final. I have 40 characters, that's it. <laughs> A-E-I-O-U. Okay, uh, let me get final words from the rest of the folks. Uh, Adriana, final words, my darling. Great well, to have thank you, by you. the way. Oh, it, it was amazing. Thank you very much for having me. I am looking forward to host one of my own so that I can teach you how to make beautiful margaritas. Good, good. We want the Latino community to get involved in cooking hangouts. I want to see more. Definitely. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to be the next one. You know, Maggie has inspired me. Uh, so I, I will jump on the pond. Go, uh, jump, uh, jump. jump on the pond. I like that one. Aslan, any final words? Few well, you words. Have, you have something coming up, don't you? I, I sure do, everybody. Come back 8 p.m. Sunday next week for the, um, for the start of a new series called Simply Singapore with Larry and me. Yay! That's that's four that's four p.m. four p.m. Eastern eight eight GMT. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Three p.m. Uh, three, three, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Three p.m. Uh, Whatever. Whatever. We we'll we'll send it out. Georgia Marlin, any final words? Um, I think we got to do more of these uh, multilingual shows. Yeah. This is the best ever. Yeah. yeah. And count definitely. me in on the margarita. Uh, uh definitely. Um, there you go. Jorge, Jorge. Uh, Jorge is uh, almost out. Uh, Paulino, actually, somebody says, hey. Paulino, consider yourself a budding, a budding foodie. You'll get there. Oh, oh yeah, I got my badge. I'll put it. <laughs> <laughs> teacher foodie. Go, Paulino, go, Paulino. <laughs> no, <laughs> muchas gracias, Larry. Y me encantó ser parte de este show bilingüe. Espero que haya más. Y a todos los que necesitan, a todos los latinos que necesitan ayuda a sentirse cómodos con los Hangouts, pueden contar conmigo. Me encanta ayudar a las personas a poder usar los Hangouts. I uh, will announce for the first time that I, I have been shy of doing a show, but I will come in in May with a show called Educators, Performers, and Creators. And I'm going to be interviewing, guess what? Educators, performers, and creators. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. So, <laughs> we'll be watching out for that. We'll be watching out for that. Richard, Richard, gracias. Richard, any... Muchas gracias. Gracias Richard, any uh, final words there, pal? Richard is quiet. Uh, Shady, any final oh, words? What did you say, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> any final... Richard's drunk. Oh, <laughs> Mm. We it can was a pleasure being here. Era un yeah. placer. Muchas gracias a May para enseñarnos a co cocinar. Um, hacer quesadillas de con chimichurri. Y saludos a todos. All right. And, and the la last but not least, Jorge. Jorge's around? Jorge, Jorge is, he is freezing. He is, he's, he's probably... Eating some drunk, of drunk too much toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maggie, it, it was it was great. I think we ought to do this again. Another have another uh, bilingual show. Yeah. It, it, it was absolutely fantastic. Adriana, Adriana, again, pleasure to have you. Blog, 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 blog about this. Get yeah. the Latino, of course. get the Latino course. community on Google Plus using Hangouts. Whatever the whatever the idea is, whatever they want to broadcast, use the hangouts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so with that folks, this is live from the layer all the way from Trinidad saying goodbye and see you on the next food stories. Cheers. So long. Bye. Bye.
Hasta luego.